Hi, my name is Greg. In front of me today is an RTX 3080 Ti Founders Edition. You wouldn't know it by just looking at it, but there is something wrong with this video card. The core exploded. The fans still spin, the LEDs still turn on, but for every second this card is left turned on, a lethal 1.5 volts is being pumped directly into the core. 1.5 volts is double the standby voltage that the core normally gets and over 13% higher than the maximum allowed voltage that the core can see under normal circumstances. But there's a reason it's exactly double. Nvidia had partnered with Monolithic Power Systems for the 30 Series Founders Edition Cards Voltage Delivery Controller, upgrading from the previous generation's UP9512 voltage controller. This voltage controller we're looking at today is the Monolithic Power 2886, a multi-phase MOSFET PWM controller. The circuit board suffered a subtle yet catastrophic failure that led the MP2886 to send 1.5 volts to the core on boot through these inductors. The cause for this catastrophic failure appears to be a manufacturing defect on the circuit board. While under normal conditions, the voltage controller is met to start the card at 0.75 volts at time of boot, anytime you power on your computer, this is the voltage we expect to see at the core. In our case, we could see 1.5 volts at the time of boot almost instantly when we power on the core. Comparing the switching frequency to the adjacent functional V-Core MOSFETs, our duty cycle is about double what it should be. Corresponding with the fact that we see 1.5 volts on the offending 5 phases and 750 millivolts on the other normal phases. The MP2886 is an intelligent voltage controller. It carefully monitors the output of the MOSFETs it's driving by two pins, pin 31 and 32, voltage sense and voltage return respectively. You can think of these two pins as polarized positive and ground terminals on a battery. On page 45 of the MP2886 datasheet, we can see the internal diagram of where pin 31 and 32 go. What we are specifically interested in is a diagram of the differential amplifier. This triangle looking thing takes a positive and negative input, and the output is the voltage difference. The MP2886 looks closely at the output of this differential amplifier and adjusts the switching frequency in order to change the voltage it sees on the internal differential amplifier. The differential amplifier is a real-time feedback of what the MP2886 thinks it's causing the MOSFETs it's controlling to output. After some quick diagnostic work on this card, I'm able to determine that pin 32 voltage return was not connected anywhere to ground. In this case, the MP2886 internal differential amplifier turned into a voltage follower by the means of this very handy voltage dividing circuit. The voltage dividing circuit split our 0.75 volts into roughly 0.375 volts, telling the MP2886 that the program startup frequency did not match the output target voltage it was expecting to see, and thus the intelligent phase control kicked in doubling the duty cycle of the PWM signal controlling the V-Core MOSFETs, blindly sending 1.5 volts to 5 phases on the Encore power stage. To fix this issue, I wire pin 32 on the MP2886 to any ground plane located as close to the MOSFET output as possible. After this is done, a new GA102 GPU core is ready to be put back on the graphics card. 